Hello and welcome to Calabasas Teen Forum with your host, Max Goldwasser. Teen Forum is an opportunity for teens to voice their opinions on topics of the day. Today's topic is, where is education heading? And our panelists include, this is Sam Goldwasser. He is a senior at CHS, going to USC next year to study electrical engineering. On the side, he has been playing piano for 13 years and was on the Calabasas High School basketball team for three years. This is Amit Cannon. She is a senior at Calabasas High School, going to Israel to be in the Army for a couple of months. She wants to study music when she comes back, and she has been singing her whole life. This is Cooper Koch. He is a senior at Calabasas High School going to Pace University next year to earn a bachelor's degree in acting. He has been playing on the varsity volleyball team at Calabasas High School. This is Peyton Koch. He is a senior at CHS going to Chapman University next year to study film production. He also plays varsity volleyball at Calabasas and he eats Chipotle at least three times a week. Again, our topic is where is education heading? Common Core, Sam, the Common Core is a chance for public school students to become involved in the real world and the standards are relevant to the real world. What is your opinion on the Common Core? Um, I, I haven't, to be honest, seen that much of a difference compared to mm -hmm. what we've been doing in school. Uh, I do know that uh, they're really making an effort to try and make a change, which is good because I think a, ch a change is definitely needed, but um, not. I don't think necessarily in the way that they're headed with standards. There's so much standards, and that everyone needs to learn so much, so many requirements. And um, I mean, the experience with Common Core that I've had has just been looking at articles and writing based on those articles, and I just I I can't really see that much value in it um, in what I've been exposed to. I'm sure that you know, there's a lot more that I don't know about, mm -hmm. but we'll see where it's headed in the future. I'm, yeah, I'm not a really big fan of those articles and writing responses to those. How about you, Cooper? I, I mean, I agree with him in a sense, but I, I mean, I remember doing um, an essay for my theater class, and I remember doing an essay for my uh, music class, and so I had to write two of them, and I, I liked doing the theater one because the article was interesting, and I got to have the experience of like of doing something that and you know hearing it from outside of the classroom that mm -hmm. actually happened and then like writing about it and it was something that I was interested in Sa the same thing with the music one but the music one that I had to write was a like a really bad article and just was it was just not a, mm -hmm. a yeah it wasn't a good article to write about and so I didn't have a great time but that's just my experience <laughs> um with the Common Core, there is going to be no more star testing. Is that what do you think about that? Um, well, personally, I feel like I got more out of star testing than the Common Core because the Common Core, like it, it's honestly just when you read an article and then you just write about it, either comparing something to it or. Mm -hmm. I don't even know whatever they ask of you for the article, but the star testing is an actual test, and even though some people don't take it seriously, it's standard testing, and it's like every, something that everyone should be able to pass, and it's something that ev like keeps everyone on track with what they're doing. So I thought that that was more effective than the okay. Common Core. The only thing that question like um, questions me is like, wasn't standardized testing the star testing? Wasn't that for? the teachers, like to see how the teachers were doing. Yeah, it was more of an assessment to see how S the students school. were right, learning. Right, so how does teachers. that, how does that collaborate again? I, with, like, I just know that with the, the now with, with the Common Core, they're doing more standards and, and, and doing peri periodic like um, article writing throughout the year instead of the star testing because they feel that that is a more uh, effective assessment of how the teachers are teaching. Okay. Do I, you think that's... I actually agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. But, um, yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't like start standardized testing yeah. either. Um, I think the intention is really good. The intention, like, where, where, where they're set, it's a really good mindset. But I just think that the way that it's being, that it's being accomplished is not very... Okay. 
So in are the way it's good? being carried out. Yeah, definitely. Better. I mean, because they're trying to, you know, to show us more of what real life is like. And I don't think that once a year getting an article and writing about it is really the way to test that knowledge mm -hmm. and to expose us to new things. I think that there's a lot of other things they can do. But, you know, it's a new program. Yeah. It could progress, just like Sam said. And I'm, like, mm -hmm. interested to see how it could be in the future because yeah. the standardized testing was a very just constant thing. Yeah. Yeah, the kind of unfair thing is that we've gone through uh, elementary school, middle school, high school doing the star test. All the star tests. And now yeah. we're seniors all graduating. Yeah, there's and there's no more. There's no more yeah. of it. Um, with other things that are being changed that we won't be affected by is the SAT. It's now going to be out of 1,600 points instead of 2,400 in an optional essay. You missed it by one year. I know. <laughs> are you, I'm, would you rather be taking this SAT or the one that we're taking now or the one that we did take? For me, it didn't really. I mean, it did not really affect me, yeah. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> because I auditioned to get into college. So okay. It, it was mainly my audition that got me into the school. So yeah. But I mean, I mean, I would rather, I, I actually don't yeah, know. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't even I don't know. know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. What are yeah, your feelings took, about the I, new SAT? I took the ACT, so okay. I, went, I mean, I, I was never really a fan of the, the SAT and just memorizing vocab words. I didn't see that that's like mm -hmm. a way to get into college. So I, I mean, how, I, it sounds like they're making changes. Hopefully, do you think those changes will benefit the students? Or I, I mean, I hope that that's the reason why they're making yeah. the changes. They've gotten feedback. And, uh, online courses. Have any of you guys taken online courses? Yeah. Yeah. What is your um, opinion on those? Um, I think they work. They do work. I think they work because, I mean, if you want, especially if you want to take classes, I mean, especially if you want to take courses that are involve the arts, I mean, for example, mm -hmm. like us. Um, yeah, I think I think it's helpful. I like I took a summer course last year so I could take another uh, music class tonight. Mm -hmm. It really, uh, yeah, it works. Is it easier than taking a class in a classroom, or yeah, is it? Yeah, it is? definitely. Yeah, yeah. just because you do it on your own time you do it on your and own you time, you do it by yourself on your computer, um, but you still, I mean, you still learn, you still get your, okay. you still get work done. Um, there's a lot of technology being used in school now. Also, do you guys see that being implemented, like with smart boards and? Teachers use, using their websites. Do you see that a lot, Sam? Mm, yeah, I think I think that's really great that you know there's a lot of the teachers even who are very opposed to technology are still are starting to use it. And um, I mean, I think yeah, I think it's def you can definitely see a difference when uh, there's there's easier access to things that you need access to and that teachers want you to see. It's just easier. Do you feel that, I mean, that you're using technology a lot? Um, yeah, definitely. I just think that students just use technology so much, and it's such a big part of our lives now. And it's kind of, you know, about time that schools have yeah. realized that, and they can be more or less on the same page with their students. So I think it's a good change. Um, there's also an inverted classroom that teachers are trying to bring to the curriculum. Have you guys heard of that at all? I actually haven't been. Um, <coughs> I haven't uh, even heard of that. Or uh, it's it's where there there's the teachers are having the students learn the material at home, then coming in class and instead of teaching it to them, they're they're just going over the material and doing like the homework that you would normally do at home in class. So most of the learning is actually being done on your own. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I did have that last year you did? in my math class. I in had algebra that in two. My math, my math I did. Class. I did have that, but it did. What I is, remember it not helping it? me. I remember it not helping. Well, I feel like that, it could work too. for yeah. some classes. Mm -hmm. I feel like for a math but not class, math. it wouldn't math work because right? math, yeah. when you like learn, have to learn new, completely yeah. new things. Like you just can't go in a book and learn how to do it. Like you have to have someone explain it to you. <laughs> not like, totally picks up on it that fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you were doing like English or even history or something, you were just reading something out of a book or doing vocabulary or I don't know, I don't even know. And then go in class the next day. Yeah, I feel like that could yeah. be. But then it, it also takes away the purpose of a teacher. 
Well, Jane. what some of the teachers are doing are they're like having people videotape or they're videotaping their own lectures, like even when the class isn't even there and then and then putting a link on their website or something so that kids can view that lecture at home. I would just or, never go to school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's actually like exactly what my physics teacher is doing this year. Oh, he and is. I, I just, I, th- yeah, I, don't, I don't. It's just like the I easy way out. I don't think it's teachers. helpful. It's the easy way out. Like kids are not going to do that. You need to have, I mean, it's great if you have one on one with the teacher and student, mm-hmm. but it's another thing if you have teacher on class. Like that's a, it's a, you need that kind of experience, I think. Do you use resources outside of class, like like videos on YouTube or something to help you out in, in the classroom? Because that's more like technology using that. I mean, I, yeah, no, I definitely use the internet. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but, but I don't know I mean, if YouTube is yeah. the first place. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> for this last English project that I had for my career project, I put two videos in it that were from YouTube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Do you see any, Sam, advantages with the inverted classroom? Um, well, I mean, especially since I've been doing it this whole year, I I think it can either go really well or really poorly, depending on you know the t- both the teacher and the class, uh, the subject. But I, I mean, I haven't I, I've succeeded in the class, but I just don't I don't find it as rewarding as being taught by a teacher. In so front you, of you would too. rather him be. In well, the I mean, it's just when you have a question, you have no one to ask because That's you still have to watch the point. video. And, uh, and it could honestly. Um, it could honestly be for a homeschooled kid. You wouldn't have to go to school. Yeah, that, that's true. Like, you could just do it at home. Yeah. Um, do you guys know anything about the STEAM? Calabas is becoming a STEAM school. Yeah. I don't really I know like much about that. Do you Do you guys know um, much about that? Well, we know that the A is arts. Art. Yes, yes, that is true. <laughs> I actually went to the eighth grade visitation this morning um, at A Wright. I mean, at A Wright, at Calabas High yeah. School. Uh, we all performed. And I stayed to listen to a little to uh, some of the other groups and to hear what Ms. Voss said. And yeah, she talked about STEAM. And it stands for uh, science, science, science technology, technology, engineering, engineering art. art. Is it mathematics? Yeah, it's math. Yeah. Um, do you think that, do you know anything about the program itself, though? Like, um, yeah. <laughs> Not uh, really. I, I, you don't know. A is for arts. Well, I, I know that it was like it was a program before. It was called STEM. Yeah. And it was like STEM, that was yeah. the basic things or that you. Uh, the basic curriculum. The basic curriculum that you had. Like you know what we had that thing this year. It was like the pack or something. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's kind of yeah, like, it's kind of it's, it's kind of be like that kind of it's like the standards, but yeah, they're adding art this year. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I'm happy about that. Mm-hmm. Do you think there are ways where? teachers can be of more help to students like there's already support periods and they're using the websites is there anything else that teachers can do to help out their students Mm. I think teachers teachers are doing what they can for the most part I mean the support system definitely helps but it's really about that 50 50 balance with the student I mean if the student really wants that help and if the student wants attention they will they'll get it you know they will ask for it but if the student is doing all the right things and the teacher's not helping, then mm-hmm. that's like a different issue. But it's definitely 50-50. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. What teaching methods have been most beneficial for you guys? Hmm. I mean, I really think the support periods are yeah beneficial. I found that really helpful too. I'm like, well, I liked when the support periods were our yeah. freshman year when they were during the actual during school the day, because day, yeah. then you were forced, forced to, go. to go to them. But now that they're before school, I just never go. I yeah. never go. But if they were during the school, then I could like do my homework for another class if I had to do that, or you know get help before a test you had mm-hmm. next period. You know, and so that's I just also, I like that a lot better. I mean, it's also because you're a senior. If I were a freshman or a sophomore even this no, year, I probably still wouldn't like still wake, <laughs> wake up so early. I would probably. It is really support. Early. Yeah, it's just. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but I don't know, I feel like teaching nowadays has become so, like, forced instead of, like, it's us more about, to, yeah, It's more, it's more it's about, more like, about, you just have to get the points and you just have to it's pass. Not about learning. Like, you just it's have not to, about learning yeah, it's not learning. It's just, exactly. about, just about the grade. It's just That's about been, the grade you get and what, what it will do to get you into college. Well, yeah, yeah, like, because so many kids are just focused on and what it's all points. you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how much is the test? Yeah. That's always the question. Yeah. yeah. How many points is it? How many points is this project? You have an English test today. Oh my gosh, we have an English? How many points today? Yeah. And How many just, points is it? Yeah, it just leads like, to 
especially like a lot of, a lot of cheating. Yeah, there's just, a lot of cheating. You know, it's not about learning, it's about how do, how do you get how the best you, how about you do. the grade yeah. And, yeah, and exactly. because kids are more focused on trying to get into college. Exactly, and learning I'm the actual material. just gonna say, and yeah. that leads to like yeah. all the kids, yeah. I gotta get into college, gotta get into college. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So then what is the most important thing to get out of your high school experience then? Um, I mean, I think it's important to just learn how to learn new things. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, I mean, I've just seen so many people that didn't cheat their freshman year, like starting to, <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it, there's so much cheating that's not like mm -hmm. recognized by teachers and yeah, the students. They and, literally are yeah, oblivious. They're, they're really oblivious. And it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it is a problem. Uh, but like one year in high school, you should definitely experience like other, you should, you should, uh, I don't know, Spread yourself. Spread your yeah, yeah, your interests. Expand your horizons. Yes. Exactly. Um, yeah, and don't just do school. Yeah. You should get involved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely worth it at Cal West High School. There, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things that you can do that are good. Yeah, Anything? I mean, doing that, it doesn't just, like, let's say you're taking the regular classes and then you're also in a music class. You're not just learning music. like. You're learning a lot about yourself, and you're learning about how to work with other people, yeah, and skills. yeah, it, it just helps in so many ways, and it builds your confidence. Mm -hmm. So, it's helps good. shape you as yeah. good humans. Oh yeah. So yeah, just get more involved mm -hmm. in Definitely. a lot of different areas yeah. than just focusing totally. on school. The English department and the math department have are like kind of lopsided. Like the English department is very good at Calabasas, and the math department is known to be not very good. Have you noticed that at all? I mean, yeah, every single math teacher that I've had has just been awful. <laughs> Seriously, I, I, though, no. Yeah, the, the only good one was what, Alamdari, and what was the one that left? Madiri. Oh, I had a teacher in my ninth grade. Madiri, she was great. In algebra, and she was, like, an amazing math teacher because she didn't, she wasn't only, like, teaching about the math. She was teaching, like, about, you know, well, she was teaching freshmen, so she was teaching us about high school, so she was teaching us also about life and about, like, mm -hmm. how to learn and about, um, you know, doing the right thing and stuff. So she was just a great teacher. And she was really good at teaching math. That's good. Yeah. Uh, English department, Sam, uh, do, you, do you feel the effects of how good of a reputation well, it has? Uh, English has ne never been my favorite subject, but it's kind of been enjoyable I guess with some of the teachers teachers I have had bad experiences though but uh, with the good teachers they they really know like kind of what Cooper was saying but just how to make you get the most out of what you're learning because you're not going to necessarily use what you're learning for the rest of your life but just you're going to remember your experiences and you know lessons that actually do matter for the rest of your life and mm -hmm. some some teachers do a good job of that others don't but What's been your favorite part about high school? Being involved in so many things and meeting great people and just feeling feeling involved and it's just I've never had a boring day. So yeah, I gotta say also being involved in so much and just from being involved, you meet so many amazing people and um, the music program is probably one of the highlights I would say of Calabasas mm -hmm. for me for my high school experience, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. How about you, Cooper? I don't know. I think just going from middle school to high school, that transition, mm -hmm. you just get I, you get so much freedom. I I feel like, and I, so I think that was the mo that will be, and you get even more freedom in college. So it's just like yeah. keeps getting better and better. But yeah, no, definitely the performing arts and the theater that we got mm -hmm. and that we're, you know, privileged to have so lucky. had was, yeah, I think that was the best experience for me. And you, Peyton? I mean, yeah, it's all the same. We're so lucky that we have um, these great people that contribute into the art programs at our school, and we're so lucky that we have the facilities mm -hmm. that we have to put on such amazing pieces of artwork. It's really, it's great. Now there's a, a service learning requirement at the school, so now community service is required by the high school. You need at least 15 hours a year to graduate. Um, do you feel that community service should be a required thing, and what are your opinions about well, that? Well, I don't think it should be necessarily required to graduate, mm -hmm. but I do think that it's necessary for you to participate in yeah. it to, you know, make you a decent human being. Yeah. But yeah. I think it should be 
not required, but um, I think colleges, I think it should be motivated. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, because toward getting to college, that, that, yeah, I think that should be the most motivation. I don't yeah. think it should be for you to graduate because yeah. it just does, takes away the purpose. Like you're like, oh, I got to do this yeah, to get that's the hours. I got to graduate. But yeah. it's all I like, also, I also wish that the community service. I wish there were more opportunities that you could get through the school. Like I wish the school could. I mean, there they've are, been trying. I, recently, yeah, they have yeah. been trying, but. I've found, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Recently, they have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I take that back. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, I, th I think that it's, sh the motivation for kids now is just to get, get the, the requirement hours. over yeah. with and then they just forget about well, it. Yeah, the, yeah, it should be more. It's um, more, it should be more good of the heart or. Heartfelt, yeah. yeah. Right. How about you, Sam? It should not be a requirement. It should yeah. be just totally and 100% because you want to do it, because you feel like you want to contribute to something that's a little bit greater than yourself. Like, I am involved in a lot of community service outside of school, yeah. and like, just because, I, I'm not, I don't do it because I need to graduate, you know, I do it because I actually want to, you know, because I, I actually care, and it's, it's just really not about that. Mm -hmm. and, and I really think that if, the, just like Cooper said, if the school maybe opened a little more doors, which I think that they really are working towards, kids would find more opportunities like in front of them that and, they would be interested in taking. And better opportunities. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I was going to do this community service opportunity at the Ramona Carnival, and like if I worked there all day, I would like get all the hours I needed. And I didn't end up doing it, but I just don't get how working at the Ramona Carnival would be community service. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why should I feel? Why would I yeah. be heartfelt and well, like, they do why that service learning? Service learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's I guess, new now. Yeah, it's kind of like what we talked about before, like with the grades. It kind of feels like it's just a number. Yeah, or like we're just doing it for the points, points, and it doesn't feel like we're actually doing it because we should be doing it mm -hmm. to be good people. <laughs> but okay. I think that'll that'll get better over the years. I think so too. Yeah. Is that what you feel, Sam? Same, I mean, same way. Yeah, like since it's a requirement and kind of takes away the motivating factor the whole of like yourself doing community service to benefit not only your community but like yourself you're doing it to like but now it's like you're doing it to fulfill a requirement and not it just doesn't have really, the same yeah, it doesn't have the same yeah. impact well, that's all the time we have today thank you for your input and thank you for watching if you have any more questions or want to see past episodes please visit cityofcalabasas.com once again, I'm your host, Max Goldwasser, and thanks for watching.